Hi, uh, welcome to Imagination's booth here at MWC 2014. Um, we are here um, looking at some of the MIPS demos that we have. Um, MIPS has been traditionally very strong in home networking and home entertainment and networking, but we're really pushing it now into mobile. Uh, we have a range of solutions that use MIPS in mobile right now. Um, I'm going to start with the tablet. So this tablet uses um, 4G modem that um, is being powered by a MIPS CPU. Uh, it's been certified by Verizon, um, and it's using the MIPS, the multi-threaded MIPS CPU, to do 4G uh, inside this device. Uh, another thing that's really popular right now is MIPS in wearables. So we're seeing a lot of smartwatches in China and in, in Asia in general uh, selling with MIPS inside. And we have here a selection of those smartwatches um, from a range of companies uh, that use the um, MIPS-based CPU. Another interesting um, MIPS-based um, design is microchip. Uh, microchip use our MCU class um, cores um, in their embedded platforms. Uh, they've been very popular with open source developers, uh, people writing code for Linux or uh, real-time operating systems. Um, also, we have MIPS in doing uh, networking um, in some of the baseband and backend servers. So uh, and they're all 64-bit implementations. Uh, so this is just to highlight the range of MIPS CPUs that are being deployed right now in the market. Uh, we're talking about starting from the low end, mid to the mid-range, all the way to the high-end devices. Uh, using 32-bit and 64-bit implementations of the MIPS architecture. Um, so um, over here, uh, we have uh, a range of smartwatches with MIPS inside. So this is an SOC that's been specifically optimized for the wearable experience. Uh, it's running Android 4.4. It's the first Android smartwatch to run KitKat. Um, it's offering a range of um, features including heart rate monitor, uh, weather updates, uh, the possibility to check your social media accounts. Um, so it's a really clever device that uses uh, MIPS.